Hi, everybody. My name is Rick Glover, and this is Maria Fernanda Ordonez. And today we're going to talk to you about artificial intelligence, an introduction to ChatGPT. Okay, and we're very happy to be here with you guys. We're both experts in marketing and advertising, and we want to bring a lot of the knowledge that we already have acquired in artificial intelligence, and particularly ChatGPT, to make your life easier. So we are going to start here with a little special present for you guys to open this video. Yeah, so what we did is we took a couple of different types of artificial intelligence. And although today we're talking about ChatGPT, um, we use multiple different uh, softwares. Um, in this case, we use five different artificial intelligence softwares to create this quick presentation for you. Uh, first, I took a picture of me that was actually a little bit rough. Uh, then I took and created some pirates from Mid Journey, which I'm sure you all heard about. And then we used two other uh, softwares, one being ChatGPT to write the script as the introduction and then merge it together and put my face on the pirate. And here's what we got. Ahoy, mateys! Gather round and listen up, for I have a tale to tell of the fearless Haven Pirates crew. We're a ragtag bunch of scallywags, sailing the high seas in search of adventure and mischief. But there be more to us than meets the eye, me hearties. We're venturing into the realm of artificial intelligence, setting sail with ChatGPT at our side. This clever AI companion be helping us navigate the treacherous waters of the digital world, answering our questions and keeping us entertained with its witty banter. With ChatGPT as our trusty first mate, we be conquering the virtual seas like no crew has done before. So, me mateys, hoist the sails and join us on this thrilling journey into the world of AI. Together, we'll sail the high seas and unlock the secrets of the digital realm in a way only the Hyven pirates can. Yo ho ho, let the adventure begin. <laughs> So with that, we want to start by telling you a little bit about what artificial intelligence is. And basically what it is, is the capability of machines to think like humans do. And it includes lots of things like learning, reasoning, problem solving, and interacting with the environment. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT, short for Chat Generative Pre-trained Transformer, is a prominent AI chat bot developed by OpenAI. It was launched on November 30th, 2022, uh, utilizing large language model technology. ChatGPT is designed to engage in human-like conversations, responding questions and prompts with natural language dialogue. Basically what it is is when OpenAI uh, opened this up last November, uh, it had scoured the entire internet. Um, we are on uh, ChatGPT version four. It initially came out with an earlier version, but today it has over a trillion data points. It's basically read the entire internet. So as Rick was saying, it was launched in November 22, and in the first two months, it acquired 100 million downloads. Who, just to compare, 100 million users were achieved by Netflix in 10 years, by Gmail in five, Twitter also five, to, it took five years for them to get this amount of users, Facebook 4.5, WhatsApp 3.5, then Instagram only 2.5 years, TikTok nine months, and now ChatGPT two months. So things are evolving very, very fast. Every day is faster. And this is where we are today. Yeah, in fact, um, artificial intelligence and programs using uh, ChatGPT, but specifically what's been developed by OpenAI, we are getting hundreds of new programs developed every single week. It's very, very difficult to keep up with them. But ChatGPT still is the front runner. Uh, Microsoft uh, and Google also have um, artificial intelligence that they're utilizing, uh, offering similar uh, options. Uh, but ChatGPT is still the front runner. If you want to download it, go to OpenAI, chat.openai.com. Um, look for the sign up button, hit get started, and click on the, on the prompts to um, sign up and create an account. Verify your email and you're in. There's a free version, which pretty much uses a ChatGPT version 3.5. And then there is a paid version, which is still at $20 a month. Uh, that $20 a month uh, basically states that you can get on ChatGPT at any time, whereas the free version doesn't always guarantee you'll get on immediately. 
So there are some limitations, obviously, at ChatGPT will have, and the main limitations are a bit about the data that it has loaded into it, if you will. So basically, there are uh, it has been loaded for the past few years of data, and it will continue to be getting new data all the time. So right now, 3.5 is getting what kind of data, Rick? Well, 4.0 is their current one, but we have data on 4.0 through September mm -hmm. tw of 2021. So nothing new that's actually been put out since then is uh, currently in the chat GPT model, but they have filed for a new patent for chat GPT-5 about a month ago. So we expect many, many changes, including um, current data uh, from the internet. What can ChatGPT do for your business? We have um, chosen the most interesting things that you could potentially need in a, in a new business or a small business that you might be running today. One of them is content creation. And as you, I'm sure you're facing today, you need to create a ton of content. You have a blog, you have social media, you have lots of marketing materials, and you can ask ChatGPT to do it. You can also have some customer support because it can employ to provide instant responses to customers based on whatever your business is. So you can create a lot of uh, questions and answers that you need to have ready when consumers ask or inquire about specific topics on your business. It can help you with efficient communication. It can just help you write emails, answering, writing anything, any type of communications that you need to provide to your customers, to your clients, to anybody in your business. Uh, even code writing, it is specialized in that too, and it has the possibility to develop a in code. It can analyze that interesting and it can evaluate and analyze different uh, different types of data that you are assessing for your business if you can provide like for example an excel chart with multiple points in data and you can ask what is the most cost efficient what are the quality or reliability of the things that i'm working on things like that it can do it for you it can do seo station it can you can ask him to develop um queries of special words that you want to buy in SEO, things like that. It can also generate ideas for your business and you can ask ChatGPT to give you ideas on how to approach particular niche in your business or a particular consumer and it will definitely give you tons of ideas. In terms of training and learning, it can also help you out because you can ask them to create a training program for your folks in your company or and and develop any kind of of uh, brochure for example if you will or, or materials like this yeah also just to continue on what maria was saying you can create content you can do data analysis uh, you basically have your own virtual assistant if you use it properly um, one of the things we're going to get into a little bit later on is uh, called prompt engineering it's really the way that you communicate uh, with the artificial intelligence so that it produces and gives you the best um, results possible. And we'll show you all of that, how it can be used. But the bottom line is we're all pretty much small business owners. We have limited amounts of time. We have never enough capital. And what this can do is open up the opportunity um, to create many, many more hours so you can work on your business rather than in your business. It does the uh, work that um, is very tedious very often in small businesses in particular, uh, where you wear many hats um it's now going to take away a lot of the um the responsibility uh for getting content as an example developed um we'll get into a lot more of that uh, later on so anyway that's where we're kind of at in particular if we talk about product research or or audience research we asked chad dbt to configurate an audience to tell us about what consumers are thinking about a particular product or in a particular category, for example. This is something that we used to pay tons of millions of dollars just to give us the information about our consumer. And now you just can create a prompt and ask ChatGPT details about the consumer of a particular product and you will have a ton of information right away. For example, if you talk about demographics, psychographics, what is the market situation, things like that. Uh, you can ask ChatGPT. You can tell him what are the key demographics of our target audience for this particular soft drink, or what is the age range and gender distribution of a target that we are trying to sell new homes, 
or different things like that. You can ask about psychographics, what is the lifestyle choices that this kind of group has, and you can describe the entire group that you're trying to target, and it will give you a lot of information about that. And you can also ask about your market. If you are entering a new market completely different that you have never expected that you were going to reach, you can see who are the play, ask who are the players in this market, what is the size of the market, which are the major competitors that I have, what are the trends of, on this particular category, and it will give you a lot of information. So now we're going to enter into how to develop prompts and Rick is going to tell us a little bit more about that because it's all about the prompt. If you develop a good prompt, you're going to have amazing results and you're going to have really good information to work with. But if your prompt is not as good, you see, if it's so, so the information that chat GPT is going to give you is going to be so, so, so. Yeah. So precision and prompts is really um, what makes this thing work um most effectively for you this is a new there's a new category a new job title in the world called prompt engineers and prompt engineering um it's it's very new because um it's needed throughout business and throughout the world to use and operate these artificial intelligence uh, programs uh, properly uh, prompt engineers which is really kind of only about a nine or ten month old uh, profession are already being paid two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to learn how to interact and how to write prompts for artificial engine um, artificial intelligence. Um, at the heart of successful interactions with ChatGPT lies the art of crafting prompts. The more intricate and precise your prompts, the more exceptional the outcomes you'll achieve. Um, as Maria, I think, mentioned earlier, there still are glitches that you will get when you're using ChatGPT. So you always have to check your work. You always have to edit your work. Um, and as they have scoured and, and pretty much taken everything off the internet, there's also misinformation out on the internet that may they possibly could grab and put in whatever document or whatever it is that you're producing. Um, prompt service, the guiding light, directing chat GPT's responses. Um, by providing the detailed and elaborate prompts, you offer the model a clear context and understanding of your needs. Whether you are seeking creative writing, problem solving, or industry specific insights, a well-crafted prompt acts as a catalyst, sparking accurate and valuable outputs. Remember the quality of your engagement with ChatGPT begins with the richness, richness of your prompts. They are the keys that unlock its true potential. And we'll show you some of that in a little bit. These are some examples of basic ChatGPT prompts uh, for content creation, as it's one of the key things that we all do every day. You can ask ChatGPT to write me a 500 word blog if, if you are the, uh, if you need one right and you can say it's about tips and creating social media content calendar e commerce, whatever your problem is at work, you can ask him to develop that. You can also say let's translate and it could be your translator if you're working in multiple languages. You can ask him to write a screenwriter, act as a, as a screenwriter. And this is something very important and is the voice of ChatGPT because you can ask ChatGPT to, uh, to write in the voice of, and you can tell them the name of this famous writer that you really want to mirror, and it can do it in that particular way. You can uh, ask him to generate a two minute script for some let's say a radio show or a TV commercial or anything that you're working on, or you can ask him to follow, you know, any kind of direction that you're giving it. So here we're going to start some, some examples. And uh, we started ta talking about content creation before, and we have here, as, as I mentioned before, things that write a comprehensive guide to any topic you're willing to develop a case study for, or create a how to video or a script for this particular product and let customers know or understand how to get started with this particular problem, right? So for that, we are going now live to ChatGPT and we are gonna ask him to create a how, sorry, to create a how to video to uh, build a raised bed, raised bed gardens, gardens, right? So we go to ChatGPT here and we write the prompt. So here we are, and we're going to tell him to do it for us. So we're going to say, please create a how to video to develop 
high raised gardens. Let's go back to the problem. See the it says there. how to winterize them and how to, with how to build raised bed gardens and how to winterize them, how to build how to build raised bed gardens. Build. High raised gardens. No, raised. Okay. Raised. <laughs> raised bed. Bed gardens. Uh -huh. And we're jumping back and forth. To winterize them. Okay, okay so let's one. see what it's going to do. And here, immediately, we see what he's doing, right? So these are the kind of results and quickness and amazing <laughs> information that you're going to get right away. If you see how it is doing it, and let's see what it said. Okay, so again, we're we're saying how do we build uh, raised bed gardens, um, which is just a very very simple prompt, and it gave us first the material list, which is absolutely amazing. How to plan your garden, how to build the frame. I'm not going to read every single line. Preparing the site, filling it with soil, winterizing it clear out the old plants, protect the soil, cover the bed, et cetera, step by step. And that all happened in seconds. Literally, I think that took 10 seconds for that response. To come up. So if we continue here, we are going to give you a couple more examples, right? So our next example was going to be to talk about marketing, right? If we are going to talk about marketing, we have many, many things to do all day long. We can ask, let's write 10 subject lines for emails about this particular topic that I have at work. Or can you provide me with a comprehensive guide on building backlinks to my website, backlinks to my website, or write an outline for a five stage email sequence, welcoming new customers into my brand. We do this every day. We need to write sequence of emails we need to respond to things and chat dbt could write all that for us so if we continue here we have chosen a couple of uh, ideas and the one that we want to develop right now in front of you guys is act like a social media manager and write a social media post for newlyweds that want to teach them how to save money for buying their first home so what I'm going to do here you, now is copy, I'm oh, going to copy this Perfect. so we can do it more efficiently <laughs> than we did the last one. And that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to paste here the prompt that we have developed previously. We were thinking really well how to do that. And here is what's happening. So you see how fast it creates all the content, eight versions so probably a little faster than you have the, the, the free version, but it's very similar. Now, one of the things you'll see too is, and we'll teach you about this in a second, but you can say, here's a tone I would like to take. So a friendly tone or a serious tone or a professional tone as an example, and here, and you'll get different responses. You can say, do it in a humorous voice or, or create, a, um, uh, create a joke while you're telling a story and it will do that for you. So, hey there, newlyweds, it's already very loose. Uh, congratulations on tying the knot and embarking on this exciting journey together. Now that you're officially partners for life, it's time to start planning for your first home sweet home. Saving for your dream home doesn't have to be a daunting task. Here's some savvy tips to help you make that dream a reality. Set clear goals, create a budget, automate savings, trim unnecessary expenses, cook at home, side hustle, explore first time buyer programs, monitor your progress, seek professional advice remember the journey to home ownership is a marathon not a sprint be patient with yourselves and each other as you work towards your shared dream together you can make it happen so it's even given like motherly advice okay. <laughs> exactly so depending on what you choose it it will be doing different things for you and those are the things that we are here to teach you so here is the sample or of a very like basic but very well constructed prompt for a business owner that can produce multiple types of information and outputs coming from ChatGPT. So we're saying here, introduce our, and you talk about your product, to the particular audience that you want to talk to, who are looking to solve the problem of, 
problem of your product that is going to be solving and you tell them ChatGPT because the product provides and this is the outcome or the benefits that your product is giving to consumers right then you say additionally address the secondary pain point that your consumer have third pain point that your consumer have providing the transformation what is the result that they're going to achieve with your diet or with the product that you're selling them right so this tells you like what are the type of information that chat gpt will be processing to really give you a good outcome so you introduce the product you introduce what is the solution and anything that it additionally will need to address when providing that solution and then just to close it up you can say any 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 kind of things like in this case please describe the product in a way that highlights its value and the benefits for your target audience like rick was saying before you can tell the tone if it needs to be fun and engaging or if it's going to be in the voice of an authority or how you want that to be your end result so you need to provide all of these specific details now here's one of the things that we utilize um, and you can utilize as well. There are a number of um, points that you need to cover when you make a prompt. In this case, you'll see context. What's the context? I am a copywriter. I am a doctor. I am an engineer. I'm a lawyer, a life coach, a nutritionist. The result that you want to get, I would like to get um, an email created. I would like to have a headline for a marketing campaign. Please provide instructions for or create a manual for or a marketing plan. The explanation basically is defining, contrasting, analyzing, informing uh, a specific audience. Who is my target audience? I'm going after business owners. I'm going after uh, freelancers. I want to talk to parents. I want to talk to seniors. And then a tone of voice. Um, I want this to be analytical or I would like it to be engaging emotional, informative, persuasive. And then after you've created a prompt and you've gotten a result, you look at that result and you say, this is what I want, or this is kind of what I want, or this is not what I want. And then you can expand on it. You can say regenerate a response, a different response, or you can be more specific and say regenerate a response, but changing this to that. So you can always expand, 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 and go on and on and on. So, so we will wanted to do, for example, as the next step to, in the voice of an author, create a, man, create a manual to explore or explain a particular topic to college students in a friendly manner, right? So what we will do, we will say, act as an author, writing a manual, exploring the, to college students how to the sorority system works in the Indiana University in a very friendly manner, right? So we go here, we create our new chat, and we input that information that we just developed as a prompt. And let's see what it says. Very quick, as it always, starts generating all the content. And as we're doing this, this is live right now. We are connected to the internet and it's live. This is not anything that we've set up in advance. The only thing we set up was the slide and the prompt just so that this would be a little more efficient. So let's see what it says. It says, title, the IU Sorority Survival Guide, Navigating the Sisterhood. Introduction, welcome to Indiana University, home to an incredible array of opportunities and experiences. One of the most exciting aspects of your college journey here at IU is the vibrant sorority system. Whether you're new to campus or looking to explore this unique aspect of the university life, this manual is your ultimate guide to understanding and thriving in the IU sorority community. One, what is a sorority? Let's start with the basics. A sorority is a social organization exclusively for women, and on it goes. Number two, Rush Week, your first taste of sorority life, talks about rush, uh, rushing uh, in the Greek system. Three, the bid process. How do they determine um, if um, you're going to be invited into pledging with a sorority? Four, a new member period, the beginning of your journey, a lifetime of friendship, sisterhood, philanthropy and community service, balancing academic and sorority life, leadership and personal growth, maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Conclusion, congratulations, 
You've now embarked on an incredible journey into the IU sorority system. Embrace the sisterhood, make the most of your college experience, and cherish the lifelong bonds you'll create. Remember, the sorority community is here to support you in every way possible, and your time as a sorority member will be a cherished part of your college years. Enjoy the ride. So now, in a matter of seconds, with a proper prompt, you've created a new blog, a new piece of content for a website, uh, an article for a newspaper. Now we go to the next screen and we've highlighted in each of the columns um, a variety of things so we can create the next prompt. So go ahead, Maria. In this case, we were thinking that we could talk in the voice of a nutritionist, right? And we want to have a press release and we're going to be describing to parents this particular uh, um, product in a very professional tone, right? So this is what we want to tell ChatGPT. Act as a nutritionist, owner of the Nutrition Coach, that could be your company, who is writing a press release describing her new line program to be launched on October, in October 2023. The target for her are parents in Darien, Connecticut, and the immediate vicinity. And she wants to talk about the importance of children's nutrition and how to prevent obesity. And she mentions her web page, right? So this is a person that wants to create these type of communications, right, to her potential clients. So we open a new chat as we've been doing so far. We create our our prompt, we paste it in, and we ask ChatGPT to do it. So let's see. Quick, fast, as always. That's amazing. Look at it. So this is what it's working on. So, um, uh, in by the way, you'll notice it's setting it up in the format that you'd want to send this out as a press release. So they put the contacts name, um, the contact information, and the announcement. The nutrition coach launches groundbreaking online program to empower parents in Darien, Connecticut, and surrounding areas in preventing childhood obesity. Darien, Connecticut, September 26, 2023. Uh, Dr. Emily Johnson, a renowned nutritionist and the founder of the Nutrition Coach, is thrilled to announce the launch of a comprehensive online program designed exclusively for parents in Darien, Connecticut, and its neighboring communities. The program, set to debut in October 2023, aims to educate and empower parents on the critical importance of children's nutrition and equip them with the knowledge and tools necessary to prevent childhood obesity. And it continues and it goes on in a format that is a press release format. It knows exactly what we want because we've said that we'd like it in that format. Again, this same document or a similar one could be created by ChatGPT, but in a different format. It doesn't have to be a press release again. It could say, create a blog, create a 500 word blog, create a 1500 word blog. Um, outlining all the things that we just outlined here. Uh, it could be create a um, it could create a, just a white paper and we could talk about um, childhood obesity in a white paper and we could make it a 20 page document and we could ask for um, we could ask for information that it's pulled from the internet and basically the source information um, from various um, listed documents uh, perhaps with um, I don't know, Food and Drug Administration or uh, National Institute of Health, uh, et cetera. One key thing that you can also do here is that maybe you didn't like it. What did ChatGPT gave you something you didn't like? In this case, the expert guidance, and then you read what it wrote and it's like, hmm, this is not my voice or this is not exactly what I want to say. You can ask him to do it again. You can either say regenerate here with this button and it will do it completely from scratch again. That's one option, or you can just go again and create another prompt that says in the section ex expert guidance, please write it again, saying blah, 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 whatever your view on that subject is. So this doesn't mean that this is always a final word and possibilities. There are millions of more possibilities that you can use. So in this particular case, you can change any aspect of the of the press release as you can do any, in any other subject that you are working on ChatGPT. So let's go back to our examples. And the next one is this one. And in this case, we are, oops, sorry, sorry. Let's go back here. So we are asking ChatGPT to work as a tra travel agent to write an article 
describing for travelers and entertaining. And mm -hmm. the tone is going to be entertaining. And it's going to be describing something. What is that? So in this case, we chose act as a travel agent writing an article describing the Amalfi Coast to travelers in an entertaining and fun way, including the top five food areas and points of interest. So this is what we wanted to do. So now again, we copy our prompt, we go to ChatGPT, and we ask him to create this. Let's see what it does. It's amazing. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's just so amazing. It blows your mind. And it's interesting here because you will always find that there's always a conclusion. So when anything that Chad DPT writes, he will always give you a little summary at the end and a conclusion of the topic that he was writing about. So dear travel enthusiasts, picture yourself on a winding coastal road that hugs the cliffs like a lover's embrace with Asia waters stretching as far as the eye can see. You're on the Amalfi Coast, a slice of heaven on Italy's southwestern coastline, where every twist and turn offers a new breathtaking view. This enchanting destination is more than just a place. It's an experience of the dolce vita, the sweet life. So buckle up for a journey into the heart of Italian charm, taste, and beauty. So it discusses the Amalfi Coast at a glance, stretching for 50 kilometers along the Tyrrhenian Sea. The Amalfi Coast is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that embodies the essence of Mediterranean allure. Nestled between the sea and the Latari Mountains, this slice of Italian paradise is a must visit for travelers seeking an idyllic escape. Positano, it talks about Positano, Amalfi, Reveo, Sorrento, and then the top five foods that we asked. And as Linguini, Ala Mangoli, excuse me for the pronunciation. For I'm your sure, Italian. I'm sure it's horrible. <laughs> um, Caprese salad, lemon delights, uh, Stogliatella. Seafood feast. Of all the responses we're going to get from you out there, it'll probably be on my pronunciation on it, my Italian. <laughs> um, in conclusion, the Amalfi Coast is not just a destination, it's a love affair waiting to happen. From its cliffside villages to its delectable cuisine, this charming region will steal your heart. As you sip local wine on a terrace overlooking the sea, you'll realize that the Dolce Vita isn't just a dream, it's a reality here on the Amalfi Coast. So pack your bags. Don your sun hat and get ready for a journey that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. The Amalfi Coast awaits your arrival, ready to enchant you with its beauty, history, and of course, its incredible food. Bon viaggio. Hope I said that right. And I'm ready to go, <laughs> by the way. It sounds good to me. I'm ready. So those are many other examples. We have here one more. And this last one is going to talk about the lawyers and then many lawyers we can have in the audience today and they could create a speech they are talking all the time right and it's going to be an informative this is an it's not it's not going to be anything else but an informative topic and it's going to talk to business owners and in this particular case we wanted to have a very professional tone right so what is it that we're asking here it is we're going to ask him to act as a lawyer writing a speech that informs business owners about the advantages and disadvantages of using an LLC versus a subchapter S corporation in a very professional way. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna copy our prompt. We're gonna to go to ChatGPT. I'm going to write it right here and see what it ha what happens. is so knowledgeable it has all this information in it that as you can see so far you can ask any topic the amalfi coast sororities at a university how to compare two different types of possibilities for a business there's so many things that you can find you can get in a very professional and knowledgeable way yes yeah, so here we go ladies and gentlemen thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today about a critical decision that many business owners must make when structuring their companies. The choice between forming a limited liability company, LLC, or a subchapter S corporation, an S corp. Each of these legal structures offers distinct advantages and disadvantages, and it's essential to carefully consider 
your business specific needs and goals before making a decision. Let's begin by discussing the advantages of both LLCs and S-Corps. So it goes into LLCs, limited liability, flexible taxation, manageable flexibility, ease of formation and maintenance, advantages of forming an S-Corp, the tax benefits, investor attraction, fringe benefits, and then disadvantages, which is we didn't even ask for. Uh, yeah, I guess we did. Um, Self-employment taxes, limited capital raising options, and disadvantages of forming an S, complexity, ownership restrictions, tax implications. In conclusion, the choice between an LLC and an S-Corp is a significant decision that hinges on your business's unique circumstances, long-term goals, and tax considerations, and it continues from there. And, and as Maria said before, you can always go further with this and you can break down, let's just say an LLC, if that's of your interest, and you could have it ask more information about an LLC. Um, how do you file an LLC? Where do you go? What is the typical cost of an LLC? Um, what are examples of um, uh, LLCs that have perhaps have caused uh, an owner trouble? You know, there's all sorts of different things that you can do, um, but you start with the basic prompt. Again, you identify who, who's talking. In this case, I'm a lawyer. You identify what you're trying to do, what your uh, focus is, what your audience focus is, and in what tone of voice, in essence, you're speaking. Uh, also, Maria had mentioned, you can say, I would like to speak in a professional voice, but you could also say, I would like to speak as if I am Barack Obama. I would also like to write this as if I am um, Dr. Seuss. You can identify people. I would like to give this information to you in the voice of Tony Robbins, and it will actually identify that and change the way that it presents um, based on that voice, uh, whether it's an adjective you use or an actual person. Okay, and now we're going to switch a little bit of gears here and we're going to tell you a little bit about something I just did recently and it was creating a children's book. I have a passion and we both share this and mm -hmm. we have a passion for bees and we have another business about bees and honey. So what I decided to do as part of my task in life was to create something that will teach children how to love bees by understanding what they do in our environment. So what I did is that I started with an idea generation with ChatGPT. So I asked him what a BCB will be doing in nature and to write that in the in a voice of a bee that was fun for children, that was nice and was didactic and teaching all these concepts. So the first thing that I got, and this is just a little taste of what the book, the book is all about, it, it gave me the following. It says, in a beautiful garden with flowers so grand, leave Beatrice the honeybee in a busting land. Beatrice love flowers, what a delight, with colors so vibrant, so light and so bright. So this is the beginning of the book, just an example. With another platform we use, I created all the graphics. So I asked him to develop Beatrice in a beautiful Disney type character, and here she is. And most of it was in a meadow full of golden light with lots of other characters. So I have more bees to show. And for example, here you can see this is the queen bee. So this is our product and this is the honey they develop. So I created all the content, then I created all the graphics and I put it together to create the book. So this is something that we could teach you farther in other sessions and is how to develop graphics, how to develop content for a book, how to create a book in one day. Those are things that you can do with ChatGPT and all the AI possibilities out there. Um, also, one more thing. You can use ChatGPT to create a prompt to use in these other artificial intelligence programs. So instead of just using it to write um, for ChatGPT, you could say, hey, I'm gonna use MidJourney as an example. I'm gonna use MidJourney and I would like to develop this character. Please um, describe for me the following. And ChatGPT will create a good prompt that you can use and pass over to the next uh, piece of artificial intelligence that you're using, like Maria did here. Okay, so you can always, as we were saying before, review and refine output for ChatGPT. You are not going to be happy all the time. Maybe it wasn't the right topic. It wasn't the right output that you were looking for. So you can always go back and change it. You can always go back and ask for more. You can always go back and say, not in this tone, let's switch tones or let's um, dig deeper into this particular aspect. 
Those are many things that you can do all the time. Uh, you can check for grammatical and syntactic errors. That's also possible. It's not perfect. And there are many best practices that you can go and definitely continue to work with your creation, whatever your topic is. In my case, for a children's book, I was always trying to be doing better writing and creating better ver the verses needed to follow a particular structure. He didn't give it to me the first time, so I have to teach him what was what I was needing, how many verses, in how many lines, with how many words, and things like that. So it was a, long, a lot of work, but it definitely came out something that I really loved at the end. Um, props for data cleaning and advanced data analysis. Um, you can use ChatGPT for extensive data analysis. As a matter of fact, I'm going to step away for one second and explain. There are uh, numerous plugins that have now been developed for ChatGPT. Um, and those plugins, and there's probably over a thousand or maybe even 2,000 now, um, you can utilize in many, many ways beyond what we're just showing you here. Um, the data analysis itself allows, as an example, um, to look at, I think Maria said at the beginning of the presentation, look at the spreadsheet and analyze it. It could be thousands of um, thousands of lines of data, and you could just say, please summarize this, um, uh, this CSV file uh, for me in 100 words or less, and it will actually do that. You can actually take a document. It could be a 200-page document. It could be something that where you're researching uh, as an example, um, a health problem uh, that your loved one might have, and you just don't understand all the all of the uh, terminology because it's um, very very advanced and all the research, and it's hard to read it. And also, you don't want to sit around and read 200 pages of a um, of a research paper. So you could actually input it and say, "Please summarize this for me, and summarize it, and give me the top 10 or 20 bullets." And in bullet format, it will it will um, give you a response and simplify it. If you really want to simplify something, you can say, please simplify this incredibly detailed um, uh, PDF, as an example, and, and um, pr provide it, the answer to me as if you're talking to a five-year-old, and it will really simplify it. But you will understand something that perhaps you don't understand. Uh, students, of course, can use this. We can all use this in our daily lives. It's really wonderful. Um, so here's some other things here. Check that all the dates are formatted the same way. Remove any incomplete records. Fix any typos or misspellings. Make the headers consistent across all columns. Remove any duplicates I don't need. Put all the text data in lowercase. Separate the data into different tables so you can create tables as well. Make sure the numerical data only includes numbers. Delete rows missing key information. So it's a call code interpreter but they just changed the name it's now called advanced data analysis so for the first seven or eight months it was called code interpreter so if you're reading or doing any research and you see the word code interpreter it's basically the data analysis tool inside of chat gpt um, the advanced data analysis feature um, don't be frightened by the word code although it can code by the way you can actually have it write code to create you an app if you see it, it will just kind of blow your mind, but um, it actually can um, do some very, very sophisticated things, um, which is beyond this presentation today. Take a look at some of the files you can upload to ChatGPT. You can do text files, you can do CSV files, you can do programming sources, JS, Java, uh, Office documents, Excel, SX, PPTX for PowerPoint. You can do PDF files, image files, JPEGs, pings, GIFs, bitmaps, data files, audio files. Um, the next thing that you're going to see very soon here is right now you can do text to image. You can create a, a prompt and go in and create an image. Uh, you can integrate with programs like Canva right now. And actually, when you put a prompt in, it will use Canva to create the artwork while you're inside of ChatGPT. Uh, and very soon you're going to be able to, believe it or not, and I've seen it already, use text to video. To, to, to find a video that you want, you create a very de detailed prompt uh, as a text, and it will actually create a video for you that will just kind of blow your mind. Now, this was one of the fun things that we did. And we heard this a long time ago, and we tried it, and you're, we're going to try it here. But let's say you have, you're just blank, 
and your refrigerator has a whole bunch of leftovers in it and you don't know what to do with those leftovers. In fact, you don't even know what to do with half the stuff in your fridge. You don't even know what really is in your fridge. So you basically say, hey, please give me a recipe to make what I have in my pantry or my fridge, or here is um, here are the leftovers that I have. And I have ketchup and I have mayonnaise in there and I have, I have some uh, brie and I have a half a can of uh, spaghetti sauce. And I have, in this case, burrata, salmon, blueberries, honeycomb, spinach, eggs, butter, sourdough bread, and give me a recipe. And here's what they did. We could show you live, by the way. Actually, we could create one if we wanted to. But um, this first one is starter spinach and burrata salad with blueberries and honeycomb. And it gives you the ingredients, the dressings, the instructions, just a full recipe. Um, next one we did, I think, was, oh, second one was honey butter glazed salmon on sourdough toast. Again, using the we ingredients the that we put in, yeah, the, in the pantry. Um, and uh, a blueberry and honeycomb egg custard. I want to make that one. It looks really good, right? <laughs> but all this comes from just a simple input that you put in. And boy, instantly you have a menu. You have a menu for tonight. You have a menu for a week, whatever you want to do. And you can even, if you're on a diet, you can um, say, here are my foods. Please use all this. And you can be very specific and say, I'm on a keto diet. Um, and I only want something that'll be under three grams um, uh, perhaps, um, uh, or no carbohydrates, et cetera. And it will take that out. It will analyze the ingredients you have, and it will know that it has too much sugar content. So it'll pull it out and not put it in your, in your recipe. Um, here's three video ideas. Um, let's see my 30 day weight loss journey before and after create a video documenting your personal 30 day weight loss journey, share your starting point goals, diet plan, exercise routines, and any challenges you faced, show progress through your weekly updates and reveal the final transformation. Okay, um, the next, well, let me, okay, well, anyway, you, I think you get the idea. You can really do almost anything in here. And this is one of those things where it's really fun to use and it's very engaging, but it actually will save you an enormous amount of time. Um, just so you know, we didn't introduce ourselves really well. Um, <laughs> Maria has um, 30 years uh, really in, uh, in media and marketing. She's been with the largest ad agencies in the world. Um, she has run uh, all the media for Coca-Cola US. She has worked with Procter & Gamble, Colgate, uh, obviously. Um, let's see, who else have you worked with? I'm trying to remember. Help me out. Delta, McDonald's, Marlboro, and other times. <laughs> and she's had teams of, um, I think, largest team of 35 or so, strategy, finance, creatives, etc. So she has um, a lot of multinational experience. And as you could probably tell from her accent, she speaks um, she speaks uh, Spanish, English. Uh, I only speak pig Latin and English. Uh, so <laughs> Maria is the one to go to for um, uh, anything, uh, basically from here through South America and out through Europe. Uh, I have small business experience about 30 or 40 years um, with small business. Uh, we help them grow in their business. We consult with them. Uh, we create, uh, well, we've created over 500 websites. Um, we come from a marketing point of view instead of a graphics point of view, because we're, basically what we want is results. We want to help you get more um, people in through your front doors. We work offline and online marketing. Um, you know, hit us up if you guys are interested in uh, ever discussing anything or further information here. We will be giving more classes on other artificial intelligence. Uh, we want to thank Haven for having us here today. Um, it was really a lot of fun, and we hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you again, and uh, yes, definitely there's more to come. So keep watching and paying attention to all Haven's communications because more, more things will be happening soon. Bye.